This video is sponsored by Samsung. As someone who makes videos for a living, managing files is a vital part of the creative process. It feels like I can never have enough storage, especially now that I film all my videos in 4K. And over the course of my YouTube career, I've accumulated way too many external hard drives, the mechanical ones with the spinning disks. They are slow and they are bulky, and not to mention, they're fragile. You definitely don't want to drop these. In just the last few years, SSDs, or solid state drives, have gotten pervasive in the tech landscape and are a much better option when it comes to portable external storage drives. I've actually owned Samsung's older T5 drive for a few years. 250 gigs was decent back in 2017, especially when I was filming all my videos at 1080 files were like a quarter of the size of what they are now, and it uses USB-C. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two products, Samsung's T7 and T7 Touch SSDs, and explain why these are a fantastic option if you're in the market for an external drive. And a big thanks to Samsung for sponsoring today's video and sending these drives over. We'll first talk about the design and then the specs and how they perform in the real world. And I'll explain my use cases for these drives, as in why you should consider buying one. The T7 Touch is a tiny gadget it fits in the palm of my hand. It's basically identical in size to a New York City subway card. Here it is next to a pair of sunglasses. Here it is next to a Rubik's Cube. It's super thin and light. It weighs 58 grams. It's so thin, in fact, that the USB-C port takes up almost the entire width of the drive. And speaking of USB-C, these T7 drives support the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2. The T7 Touch has touch in the name because you probably guessed it, that square that you see is a fingerprint reader that doubles as an LED status indicator. I don't think I've ever seen an SSD with one of these. You can easily set up your fingerprint with Samsung software, and it works as you'd expect it to. The contents of the drive will not actually show up unless you authenticate it with a fingerprint or a password. And using the software, you can set up multiple fingerprints and they're easily manageable. Around the fingerprint scanner is the blue LED status indicator. So depending on what you're doing with the drive, it'll display different patterns. I think it's pretty dope. The T7 Touch is available in two colors, black and silver, and in three storage sizes, 500 gigs, one terabyte, or two terabytes. With the T7, you have the same storage options as the T7 Touch, you just don't get the fingerprint reader. It comes in red, blue, and gray. Both of the drives that Samsung sent me are one terabyte. And just a quick juxtaposition with the older T5 SSD I have, these new T7 SSDs are thinner and a bit taller. Let's get a bit technical. So internally, these older T5 drives are using a protocol known as SATA, or Serial ATA, with read-write speeds up to 540 megabytes per second. The new T7 line uses a more modern protocol known as NVM Express, or NVMe. It's the same thing that the M.2 SSD in my custom computer uses. These T7 SSDs have a read write speed up to about 1000 megabytes per second or one gigabyte per second. And that's fast, about twice as fast as my older T5 and much, much faster than those big clunky external drives with the magnetic spinning disks. All right, let's do some tests. I wanna demonstrate the actual transfer speeds of the T7. I've connected the drive to my PC using the USB-C port on my computer. To start, let's take this 10 gigabyte clip I have on my SSD and copy it to my desktop. And keep in mind, I'm going from one SSD to another, so it should be quite quick. This took about 15 seconds to transfer 10 gigabytes. All right, let's move that 10 gigabyte file from my computer to the drive. Also, very fast. Now, just for a quick comparison, let's take that same file on this clunky old external hard drive and move it to my SSD on my computer. It is much, much slower. There's no comparison. And I just want to demonstrate again how slow these old hard drives are. To move the same 10 gigabyte file to this drive takes so much longer. So copying files is fast. If you're watching this video and your desktop is a cluttered mess with random files and pictures and videos, or your internal drive is just out of space. Grabbing one of these to dump 250 or 500 gigs to get rid of all that stuff you don't really need might be a great and easy solution for you. And yes, the T7 and T7 Touch come with a USB-C to USB-A cable, so no matter what computer you have, 
you can connect this to it. Aside from using one of these as a storage device, likely freeing up your entire hard drive with one cracker sized device, these are also great on the go portable editing drives. In fact, this entire video is being edited off of the blue T7 that Samsung sent me. It's connected to my PC over USB-C, and like I mentioned earlier, it has a terabyte of storage. And this video was shot entirely in 4K, and the drive is having no issues keeping up. These SSDs work really well as tiny storage units, as well as mobile editing solutions. Working off a drive is useful because that means you're not cluttering your main internal drive with files. Everything is speedy on these little drives. I've left links below to both the T7 and T7 Touch, so you can check them out if you're interested. So thanks again to Samsung for sponsoring this video and sending over these drives, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.